Hey folks, Keebler 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is Forest in Maine. I've had this beer for a little bit because I got this last time we went to Forest in Maine, which was when we came back from, this is not Croydon Fest, so it's been a few months, I think. I don't remember. Um, but this is a smoked beer. It is a smoked lager. It is their deciduous. Uh, it is 5.4% alcohol by volume. And yeah, um, not sure when it was canned because there is no canned on date. Um, but um, I did have this at the brewery when we were there. And uh, yeah, so I'm drinking it now. Gonna do some videos and do some cleaning up in here. As you can see, things are a little bit different now. I'm trying to get this shit organized and whatnot. So yeah, it's a nice yellow, kind of sunny golden, a touch of golden in there maybe. Um, but yeah, that is a finger and a half of a nice kind of soapy head. Looks good. Let's see what it smells like. Hmm. A little bit of baloney. A little bit of a uh, little a touch of band aidy, band aidy baloney thing. There is like a minerality thing going on in here as well, which I assume is the water or some sort of um, uh, water treatment. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I got a big whiff of band aid in this. But uh, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. I'm gonna look and see if there's a thing on here, if it's still on their website. They changed their website, so it's not as a... I feel like it's not as a... <coughs> Deciduous, it's still on here. Oh, what the fuck? All right. So it's on here. Color, font. Green, the tasting notes here. Uh, I think it's a little old. And on here it says it's 4.28%. So I don't know if they've released it since this one because I think. Oh, let me see if. Oh, that's weird. So they took the. Man. All right. So they took the can. They took the release dates off. Or I'm, I'm not sure if they were the release dates or the Candon dates, uh, but they took them off the website, which is annoying. Um, but I believe, because some of the cans I got, and you can go back and look at and watch some of the Forest and Main reviews, some of them did have uh, Candon dates. So I think they started that earlier this year. So this may be 
It's the end of it's July 26th, so this might be like eight months old. Or nine months old. But yeah. Anyway. Um, you get that um, little band aid little baloney thing, smokiness. And then that, that uh, minerality thing is kind of big in this. But the one, the one tasting note that they did have on there was uh, that I that I that I thought I was getting was a uh, peppercorn. It's a little bit of like a peppercorn kind of. It's like a. It's not really spicy, but it's like I don't know. It's like a. It's almost like the dryness reminds me of pepper. Um, yeah, it's it's still good, even though I think it is quite old. And I'm glad they did start putting uh, dates on those. I think they're doing it for everything now, maybe. It seemed that way, at least. Um, but yeah, and like, I don't know. The one thing about Forest of Maine, their beers are really good. I really enjoy them. Their price points on some of the things um, are kind of like weird. Or not weird, but just like, I don't know. Like this is like $16 a four pack, which isn't bad. Um, but I know some of their some of their like lower ABV like three percent stuff like that. Those are also like sixteen to eighteen dollars a four pack, and then you can get like crazy imperial stout four pack for like twenty dollars. So I think I feel like their lower ABV stuff is a little pricey, but um, but uh, it's kind of worth it, kind of. I really, like I said, I really enjoy their beers, but you know, a little pricey, um, at least for some of the stuff. Um, I wonder if that little bit of like peppercorn spicy thing is is the hops. Um, I think it said it was hop with Tetnanger and um, Herzbrocker. I think Herzbrocker. I don't know. Um, but yeah, because there is like a subtle like hoppy thing in this, and I think that might be where that. It's not really spicy, like I said, but it's like a peppery kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to get back to cleaning, cleaning up. Who knows? Maybe I'm going to drink. I'll probably drink a few beers tonight. Um, review a few beers. I don't really drink that much, kind of. Um, and when I do drink, it's mostly to, like, get rid of things so that I don't have to have them anymore. Um, uh, but, yeah, I'll probably... Do some cleaning up in here maybe in the next video i'll probably post these videos whenever the videos i do today like probably not in order or anything so you'll just have to piece those um piece those together or something i don't know But yeah, super good. I feel like it's probably a little old, so I don't quite remember it being like this, but it's still pretty good. Um, and uh, so yeah, 
I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram, 93lumber. That's spelled out. 93lumber. We will see you in the next one. Cheers.